Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a final video on Titan Season 1. So I have to apologise to you guys. I've made no Titans videos since Episode 1, and I was just so busy. You know, I had to cover all the other DC shows like Supergirl and The Flash. But now, finally, I've been able to catch up on Titans, and I've watched it all the way through to the finale. I've caught up on all the episodes, and wow. What a show. I think this is one of my favourite DC shows. I love how dark it is and how real it is. And I have to say this is extremely cinematic. This feels like a film. And I feel like it has that depth and that continuation. And I really do like how the season ended. And how, you know, season 1 and season 2 are going to be sort of like one whole story. Rather than two separate stories. And I do like that. Obviously I love the DC shows on the CW. And how they do just one season arcs. But I think this is going to work very well. And so let's talk about the finale. Because everyone online has been freaking out about the finale. I know I'm a few days late. Tried to catch up by the finale. But I didn't get that done until just today. And I've got to talk about this. So this is going to be my review. And we're going to be talking about everything in the episode. But mainly the ending and the Batman stuff. Because, you know, that's what everyone wants to talk about. So Batman in this episode, he goes on a killing spree like mad. But later in the episode, it's revealed to be under other circumstances. It's not reality as per se. And so Alfred's dead, Commissioner Gordon's dead. Multiple massive Batman characters are revealed to be dead in this episode but at the start we go to this amazing opening scene to this perfect life with dick living his perfect life in california living with dawn he's married they have a kid so they're having another kid and rachel and gar they are together in like college or somewhere and everything seems to be going very well and at first you sort of like when you're watching it you're like what is happening? They've done a few episodes like this, like flashback episodes, like Hawk and Dove's like, origin story and how they came together with their parents' death and his brother's death. So they've done a few episodes where they completely shoot off from how they leave the final episode before that, which I really do like because it keeps you questioning, when are we going to return to this place? When are we going to do this? And so, yes, so they're in this reality, and this reality continues throughout the episode. We see Jason Todd in a wheelchair. I think that's a nice little shout-out to how Jason Todd actually dies, and, you know, I think that's a reference to that in the comics, turning into Red Hood. And so later in the episode, Dick actually ends up moving and going to Gotham. He's staying in this hotel, this really crappy hotel. And we essentially, later in this episode, we see the Joker. We actually see what the Joker looks like. And I have to say, I really love it. I really dig it. And I'm so happy they actually got to show the Joker. When I saw that scene, for the first time when I saw a dead Joker, I literally lost my shit. I think that was like the coolest thing I've seen on Titans, as well as a later scene in this episode. And so, yes, Dick is in Gotham and he is trying to stop Bruce from tipping over the edge and killing the Joker and so at first we see a dead Joker most definitely dead he's been thrown out a building on a car and we get to see the human version of Trigon who's manipulating Dick as it's revealed later in the episode and he is a police officer and Dick's trying to help out and he sees that he, the Joker's dead but then he does some sort of like weird nod or some sort of like I don't know some sort of action and the Joker's arm actually lifts up and he's alive. And so this is him trying to further mani manipulate Dick and into actually becoming and embracing that darkness within inside of him. And in that journey, we meet Batman. And so the Joker's actually revealed to be alive again. He's in hospital, barely alive, but he's going to survive. And then we see Batman and Batman throws his Batarang into the Joker and the Joker is dead and we see him in action and we see him moving for the very first time which is just absolutely incredible he's fully in silhouette as we expected we don't expect to see a face reveal of Bruce Wayne or anything but we see different shots of him in the darkness he does exist he does have a moral code but in this reality he breaks that code and he massacres people 
And also there's a reference in this episode that Superman fell out with Batman, confirming Superman. Obviously we know there's Wonder Woman, we know all these people exist because we have Wonder Girl. And, and so Trigon throughout the episode is manipulating him. He is a human version of himself, pretending to be a Gotham City police officer. And Batman does in fact have this code in this reality, but he totally loses his shit. And we go to Arkham Asylum where we see an absolute massacre. Everyone literally is dead. It's brutal. And that's one thing I really love about Titans, how real and how visceral every single bit is. And I love how they embrace the horror genre and, and how they bring it into the show because there is so many jump scares that really have got me this season, like that I haven't expected. And yeah, so this scene was amazing, seeing everyone dead, you get to see the Riddler's body there, you get to see Two-Face, you get to see loads of other people of note, and they're all dead in Arkham Asylum. Obviously that's confirming they exist, but by now we presume all these characters exist because Titans really can use anyone. Like, we have the Doom Patrol, we're gonna have Cyborg, things like that. So, now moving on. We actually, in this episode, we go to the Batcave, and this is on Dick's mission, and we see the Batmobile for the very first time, not blurred out, not, you know, anything like that. It's actually the Batmobile, and I really do like it, and it's only seen for a little bit, but, you know, it's a nice design, and I really do want to see more Batman in reality as we head into the next few seasons of Titans. At the end of the episode, Batman has an awesome fight, and... It's just really quick cut and really fast and Batman is brutally murdering all these police officers as they breach into his house. And yes, everyone dies and then Starfire comes in, Corey comes in and she essentially tries to stop him but he uses a cold gun, most likely from Mr. Freeze. Probably not Captain Cold because that's more to do with the Flash but probably Mr. Freeze's gun and he kills Starfire and this snaps with Dick and Dick after he explodes the ma the mansion with C4 actually comes in and as Batman is dying he subtly if you can hear it I think he says Robin help me and then Dick embraces the darkness and snaps his neck that was brutal and I did not expect that that was kind of shocking and so by the end of the episode he has fully embraced that darkness and we cut back to reality and it's revealed this was all a fiction in his mind but all these people existed the joker we actually saw we saw the riddler we saw two-face all these people and confirming commissioner gordon things like that and wow it was just amazing it was just pure fan service and pure class the way they put it out but yes, back to reality and we see Trigon and Dick and Rachel and Rachel's mother as they're inside this house. You get to see Dick as he is engulfed with that darkness that has been inside Rachel and it seems to be like transferred due to Trigon transferring that darkness. So for now, with how the season ended, in fact, he has that sort of inner darkness and he is sort of like a sacrifice and so... We're going to have to wait and see. That's the cliffhanger for the next season as to how Dick's going to survive. Because, wow, I just love Brenton Thwaites as Dick Grayson. I think he does a smashing job. I'm telling you, this is right up there with the best Robins. Probably my favourite Robin of all time is from the 66 TV show and film. Like, I, I'm just a massive fan of that. So, yeah, he's had an amazing season. And so, Trigon isn't revealed in his full form we get to see a hologram of it was last episode where we saw a hologram of trigon's form but we didn't see like the front of him but yeah so no trigon fully like reveal in this episode or in the season that will be next season and they are amping up to a massive titans versus trigon battle and now let's move on to the end credit scene so everyone's been talking about this so the end credit scene of titans season one episode 11 so the finale we get to see Cadmus, and as you know, Cadmus, obviously, we can link that to the idea of Superboy and Lex Luthor, things like that. You guys may be familiar with it from either Young Justice, most prominently, and also Supergirl more recently. And yes, we get to see Superboy and Crypto, and it is awesome. I especially love seeing that Crypto was there. I think he looks really awesome. But they are in Cadmus. And this is just like a massive, 
massive cliffhanger to leave on like is he gonna be good is he gonna be bad is he gonna need some help like other titans gonna take him in and then transfer him to the good side because right now it looks like he's even knocked all those people out or he's killed them so he's out of control right now and we're gonna have to sort that out and so that is a massive teaser for season two and where they're taking it obviously he's not going to be the main villain because that's trigon so i'm guessing he's going to come around at some point next season and so i think they're shooting next season in the next few months or so and that's going to be coming out sometime around next year coming out around full next year as well so look out for that i really do wish there was more episodes though i don't know it feels a bit short maybe they should have done like 13 or so yeah so this season was amazing and wow that ending and the batman scenes were just incredible my favorite part of the episode was definitely seeing the joker that was just beyond exciting so, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy this Titans video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and if you are new and you love Titans, please be sure to subscribe because I really do want to make Titans videos next season. Obviously, DC Universe have a lot of shows coming out, they've got Doom Patrol coming out very, very soon. I think it's in the next few months that it's coming out. Then we've got Stargirl in the summer, Young Justice is coming out really early June, that's like next week, so... When Young Justice comes out, I'm sure I'm going to be making a video because that is one of my favourite shows. That influenced me to start this channel, to start loving DC, and so yeah. Check out all of that. Swamp Thing's coming as well, so we're going to be covering all of it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.